All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Raven here. Today, we're going to be going over the Stockholm Regional Championships. Um, it's an overseas event. Usually, we cover the North American ones, but I thought this was really interesting. So, I thought, why not cover it? The event was won by Michael Kelsch or Michelle Kelsch, as they were pronouncing it on stream. I'm pretty sure maybe that's the right way to pronounce it because they are from the region I am not. <laughs> uh, he won it with a team of Pelipper, Champau, Latios, Rillaboom, Moltres, Galar, and Zamazenta. Um, the team is really, really interesting, clearly, because one, Zamazenta, we were talking about it being a good Pokemon, a really good restricted, but it hadn't like won any events yet, but now it finally has that one. But funny enough, Zamazenta is oddly not the most interesting part of the team. Um, there's the Moltres with the Black Glasses, Fiery Wrath, Foul Play, Tailwind Protect, only dark coverage. So clearly this Pokemon was meant to deal with like Calyrex, Shadow and Ice alike, right? You tear out of the Flag type weakness, hit it with Stab, Foul Play with um, Glasses, or Super Effective. I'm pretty sure you Oko both of them <laughs> with that if they don't Terra. And even if they do Terra, the um the Ice Rider takes a ton of damage from stab foul play with black, with black glasses because the attack stat is so high. Uh choice banded really so no fake out on the boom. So just wood hammer glide, high course power U-turn. That's really strong stuff um, as far as damage. Like you see his team was full of damage. Um he didn't have iron defense. He had wide guard and protect. And you know sometimes we say, you know, pick wide guard or protect. He had both. He said, you know what? The plus one defense is fine, and I'll make every I'll make it work with everything else on the team. Even like the Latios, right? So do Latios is very, very strong. You get the um the boost, uh Lush the Persian Draco Meteor are very high base power moves, has a very high special attack stat, um, good speed, and has icy wind, right? And terror type steel, so he can get those icy winds off. Um can't remember if Latios gets tailwind or not, but I guess he chose to just run the icy wind as I, I think it does get tailwind though, if I if I do recall. Um Chien Pao, Icicle Crash, that makes your Grassy Glides, Terra Grass, Choice Band way stronger. Uh, makes your body presses stronger as well. Um, I think it makes your foul play stronger also. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it does. Obviously, it makes itself stronger. It's Terra Ghost standard, um, not a Terra Stellar uh, Chien Pao. Very standard Pao just to kind of bring the team together. Then he had the Pelipper. I think having the Rain is a good option um, just for this team because we have one, two, three Fire Weeks. So having the Rain is really, really good. Um, Rocky Helmet takes advantage of his defense that you can't put the Sash on there because the Sash on the power, so he probably had it really bulky so it could take hits uh, and cause damage that way. Weather Ball and Hurricane are the strongest moves, that strongest reliable moves with it or setting its own rain. Um, wide Guard and Protect on this as well. So no Tailwind in this. He just wanted to have an option to go Wide Guard and Protect, which I can understand. Uh, in in finals, he basically gets the Chi Yu. And I don't think he actually brought the Pelipper, which was interesting. Um, but Chi Yu just missed all his moves. So <laughs> that's just how you, that's just how the cookie uh, crumbled down in finals. But the um, body press heavy slam uh, option gave him really good options to the Chi Yu anyway. Because when you're faster than Chi Yu, right? Uh, the Chi Yu was sash, but he broke the sash with an icy win. And then you can body press it, body press it, and just Oko in one shot. And then I, I didn't know this part, but apparently heavy slam, if they do Terra Okos, because on stream, it basically, like after the icy wind chip, just knocked out the Chi Yu clean. So that was pretty pretty insane i didn't realize that that would actually do that um i don't know if that's something he's calc for or if it just just the weight difference is that great but it was really really uh, interesting to watch in finals um yeah i was watching the watching the stream matches like why didn't the room ever clean fake out and then i realized later he had choice band <laughs> like oh that's pretty freaking awesome um but yeah the really really interesting team like latios hasn't won a re regional in a long time i don't think Moltres has won one in a long time either i'm not sure if zamazenta has ever won one as a single restricted um either so that's that's really interesting. And Pelipper obviously is just kind of picking up, which we'll see when we look at the usage stats. So we're gonna take a look at the um usage stats for the regular Pokemon first. And Cinderar at the top makes a lot of sense to me uh, for day one. Um Amoogus and Renjo being second and third, which is not the norm. Usually it's like uh Urshifu and Rillaboom. Um and then usually Fluttermane is not in the top five anymore, actually. Usually it's like Tornadus um is in this spot. The reason I think that this has changed is I think it's because of how well Maridon did at the last event, obviously winning it. So people saw that. I was like, okay, you know, Amoogus, grass type redirector. Let's bring that. Also, the over the European regionals tend to favor Amoogus anyway. So that could also contribute to it. But I do think that the Maridon effect also has a, a, a has a has something to say about that. Because one, like I said, even though you can't sleep people in terrain, you can still redirect the volt switches, right? And it kind of gives you a way to control that damage output, which is massive. Um, and then Ranger Ball is also really good into this mod as well because you resist all the electric moves four times. And if they want to lock into Draco, you can kind of deal with that with another Pokemon. Uh, I think Fluttermane also creeped in because Speed Booster Flutter can kind of handle this a little bit. Uh, because if they do lock into Draco with one of your other mods, then you can just wall it because it can no longer hit you with any attacks. So I think that is kind of the reason it jumped up. The Tornadus being down here at seven, um, again, makes sense because the 
uh, Whimsicott has kind of picked up. So you see Whimsicott is uh, in the top 12 uh, as a Tailwind setter. So naturally, if Whimsicott picks up Tornadus, it's going to go down because there you don't need both the Tailwind setters on your team. And also, this is pretty bad into Maradon itself. It's already struggles with Calyrex on um, ice, but now it has two things to deal with in a sense. Um, so I think that's another reason. The rest of these mods, you kind of expect uh, the ground type, obviously, is going to pick up a little bit because of the Maradon as well. Urshifu Dark is always going to be here because people, one, Urshifu is just a good Pokemon um, and it's good into Calyrex Shadow. I think it's a good way to kind of check it without, without like censoring your team around it because people have probably not considering it as much, but they also know that if you don't consider that Pokemon at all, you're you're guaranteed to lose to it. So I think we having between having something like your Incineroar and like a Dark type uh, Urshifu here, you can kind of handle that. Um, the restrictions for day one, Cataracts Ice being first is not a surprise. Terrapagos moving to second is not a surprise either. And Maridon being third, uh, right, basically tied with Terrapagos, not a surprise at all. Um, Cataracts Shadow dropping off is not a surprise because um, it just hasn't had the the results in a sense of like the big wins or like the top cuts. Um, it's done it's done well. Like don't let people tell you it hasn't done well. It just hasn't lived up to expectations. So it's natural that it's dropped down. Samazenta being ninth is a bit of a surprise because it wasn't this high before, if I remember. So it jumped up really high. Uh, Karadon being here, this and this, uh, these all these mods being here is not a surprise. Zacian being at 3%, uh, basically making the top 10 is a bit of a shock in a sense that they don't really put the top 10 on the graphics, I don't think. So I didn't really expect to see Zacian here. But if they only show like the top like six restricted, then obviously it wouldn't be there. And like, I think because there's only about 10 good restricted Pokemon anyway, it kind of just makes sense. So I wouldn't put too much stock in Zacian and Lunala making out the list. Um, now, if you look at the day two stuff, I'm going to start with the restricted for this one. Zamazenta was from nine and went to 25%. That means all the Zacian, the Zamazenta players did really, really well. Um, and the reason you would expect Zamazenta to, the reason I suspect Zamazenta to do well is one, um, it's good into the number one restricted, right? It's really good into the number one restricted. So when 21% of the number one restricted there, you're going to have a lot of favorable matchups. Just, just by a roll of the dice, you're going to have a lot of favorable matchups. Um, also, it's good into the number one Pokemon, Incineroar. And because there's 60% Incineroars, you're going to have a lot of favorable matchups. But a lot of teams have Calyrex and Incineroar. Favorable matchup for Zamazenta because Body Press locals Incineroar and it resists Glacial Lance. Um, and high, high Horsepower at plus one, does um, at plus one defense does do pretty decent damage, but not enough. And you always get your, your iron defense off before that even happens anyway. So it doesn't really matter. And a lot of these Zamazenta tend to run Terra Grass. I'm going to check that in a moment, see what kind of Terra they're running. They do run Terra Grass for like um, the ground type moves and for like the Amoongus, which is, is a bit of a problem for it. And after you get a few body presses, um, iron defenses up, you can kind of handle Glacial Lance even if you do Terra Grass. The Calyrex stayed about 21%, so it just converted kind of one to one. Which is good, which is great actually. One to one conversion is really, really awesome. Um, it's not as great as like it's like a one to two conversion, like a one to three almost, really, between nine, nine to twenty-five. Uh, whereas nah, nine, like one to three will be nine to twenty-seven percent. So this is basically twenty-seven percent. So that's one to three. That's like one of the best conversion rates you'll ever see. Um, thirteen to fifteen is like a one one, one point one to one kind of thing. So that's uh expected. Um right on went from like oh, like a one to like a point nine kind of thing. So it's it's basically even so that's good i um, even like cataract shadow rider 13 to 12 is pretty decent eight to three is not great for Karidon. uh i wonder if that's because kyogre is good in like all the pelipers here because if you look down the pelipper shot up to 40 percent which is not really good for sun teams um even like groudon dropped a little bit and then zabazenta kind of just stayed the same and they didn't even bother to pull Lunala on the list um pelipper is shooting up to um 40 percent and i'm right on meta is kind of interesting I guess because it's like specs locked, you can kind of deal with the discharge if it locks into that, which is a common move on this mod now. But yeah, that's um, that's really, really interesting. But I think the reason it's doing so well is because it's probably just paired with the um, Calyrexes and the Zamazentas a lot. Probably why it, it had so much is because 25% and 20% is 46%, about 40%. Most of these teams are going to probably have a Pelipper on it, is my guess. So that's probably why Pelipper did so, so well. Um, Incineroar converted well as it usually does. Uh, the... Raging Bolt shooting up to 50% is not a mistake. Um, if you look at like all the restrictors, right? Raging Bolt is good in the Zamazenta because you don't die to body press and you do special damage, which is kind of important to this mod. Um, with Terra, you can kind of handle a little bit of the Glacial Land stuff. You just have to have a Terra available and you can do special damage as well. So, uh, and you can also hit it with priority and trick room. Terrapagos, if you are a Calm Mind variant, you can kind of keep up with it with Calm Mind. You don't need Terra to deal with it. You can kind of 
wear it now with Thunderbolts, Thunderclap it at the end. Um, you resist all the electric attacks from Rhydon. Very bulky, so you can kind of deal with the uh, shadow, Shadows as well. You are better into Karadon. The Karadon is into you because Karadon doesn't really run Dragon moves, whereas you might run Draco Meteor or Dragon Pulse. Obviously, it's great into Kyogre. Um, not as good into Grada, but also pairs well with Grada. And Zacian is not a real Pokemon right now. I'm so sorry. So yeah, this is not a surprise at all. And I expect this to get closer to Incineroar numbers, to be honest. Um, Moongus dropped very, very little bit. 40 to 30 is not really anything to worry about. Um, Urshifu went up. Rillaboom stayed about the same, went up a little bit. Fluttermane went up, but was further down the list because of how high Pelipper shot up. So just because Fluttermane was six, don't take any stock, like, as in, don't take into account that it's sixth or seventh, I should say, more so that it converted really well. So Fluttermane is still doing really good in this format. And again, because it's good into the restricted, right? It's good into Zamazenta. It does enough damage that you can kind of get a big hit off before it kills you with the steel type move. Um, it forces terrors on Calyrex. It doesn't want to take those spec shadow balls. Um, it's good into this because you, this is forced to Terra to hit Fluttermane because you can't hit Fluttermane otherwise with uh, Terra Star Storm. Um, it's good into this because it makes it not want to lock into Draco and you hit it super effective. It's speed booster is faster than Shadow Ball. This, so you guys kind of get the picture, right? So like, it's really good into the restrict. Um, it looks like the the actual top the actual top 12 Pokemon of day two did not change at all. They just shifted around and the same happened for here. They didn't change at all. They just shifted around. I want to go to the Cut Explorer because I wanted to look at certain things like the Zamazenta Crown. So 18 Zamazenta Crown in top 128, 16 of them are grass, right? So remember I said, I think most of them are grass, so I was correct there. Um, two of them are ghosts because they don't want to take those fighting type damages. They don't want to get faked out. Um, yeah, pretty much that. And I think with ghosts, your teams are built in a way that deals with uh, Calyrex Shadow. So once you clear that out, all of a sudden, you're not really weak to anything. The only thing that's hitting that right now is um, Calyrex Shadow and Fluttermate. So once you clear those one of those two out, ghosts kind of free. And again, grass is also very free in a sense. You do have to deal with the fire type damage, but that's why a lot of them are running the Pelipper. And if you look at the teammates, 15 out of 18 in top 128 had Pelipper. Let's take it from top 28, just to, just to day two, 32 teams. All of them had Pelipper on the squad and seven of eight were grass. So Pelipper's Zamazenta is a force to be reckoned with. Uh, and we'll check out the top eight in a moment. So even the Calyrex Ice, they have moved up to grass as well. The water has dropped off. Dragon is uh, something I've seen people, some people try. Fire has been around, but it's obviously fallen off a bunch. Clear Amulet 26, 26, that makes sense. Oh, let me check out the item. Someone's at the crown's item. Oh yeah, Rusty Shield, duh. I, editor, me, edit that out. Leave it in. <laughs> but the Calyrex Ice being grass, I guess people are more worried about Amoongus than previously um, expected. Teammates being Amoongus, Pelipper, and Cinderor a lot. Urshifu. So basically balance. <laughs> Pretty much balanced teams with um with uh even though Dango was picked up a little bit as a teammate. That's kind of nice. But it's basically these ones, a balanced squad. It's for versus instead of like a hard trick room squad. Day two, 32, that's stay constant. Amoongus, Incineroar, Radium, Pelipper, Yep. So just stayed balanced for the most part. They do like their balanced teams um in the EU region, so that's not really surprising at all. Uh so is is Tropicals also just balanced out. <laughs> Tornadus, Urshifu, Amoongus, Rillaboom. Oh, you know what? That's less balancey and more hyper offense, right? Because it's probably Scarf Urshifu. Um, yeah, it's probably Scarf Urshi. And Tornadus for Tailwind, Scarf Urshi for Rain Dance Tailwind. Uh, Amoongus or Rillaboom is a grass type. Chiyu, Fluttermane as the. Uh, yeah, so you know what? They're actually probably running this. As, and 13 of them were choice specs. So Tarava Ghost, uh, the hyper offense monster. <laughs> Lefties for eight, 13 of them. Uh, being the choice specs variant, and then in the 32, the five that made it, four out of five were choice specs. Tornadoes, Fluttermane, Urshifu, and Mugushi. Yep. So the hyper offense contended. The hyper offense variant, a Tropicals, went ahead and uh, became the premier version of it. Apparently, let's check out the Maridons. Let's see how Maridons holding up. Um, Terra Electric is 17 out of 20 to be expected. The fairy ones. I wonder if those two fairies made day two. Let me see. Nope. Only the electric ones made day two. So fairy, even though fairy gives you a good matchup into the electric version it's um not enough the electric damage is just too good choice specs for most of them two people um held held back a little bit and went with life orb instead of going with the choice specs and from for my for max damage because they want to be able to switch moves but i bet you they didn't make it yep choice specs commit sometimes you just got to commit to the bit <laughs> you got to commit to the bit and cover cloak i don't know if i would have run that um just run the for giraffe like for giraffe 17 out of 24 its partners uh, day two, four out of four that made it in Ursula. Yeah, so Whimsicott, three, four. Yeah, so just kind of commit to the specs. Um, don't use Cloak, just use the Fridge Raft or another priority blocker or just hard switch. 
definitely i'd rather you lose life orb than than, than clover cloak because i think just committing to the damage is ideal um who else do we care about Calyrex shadow just to see um top 128 had 15 right that's still a good result i know like i said it, we're comparing it to like the jordan standard of winning championships but like it's okay to not be jordan all the time even if you had expectations and you become like uh just an all-star all nba player you ain't gotta be mike but you can still be an all nba all nba player uh <laughs> fairy to be expected ghost is expected even grass on one is unexpected sash on most of them life over a couple lefties on a couple which is insane i only i only saw uh, marcos moxie boosted do that uh the day ones that made 32 the top two cover cloak wait what wait what Over cloak on a ghost mine. So if you click Terra Fairy, you don't get faked out on one of the four that made it. Is that a mistake? Ghost type boost. Does that mean spell tag, life orb, and citrus berry? I'm so confused. This Pokemon is. You know what? I respect it because if a mine is really good and it's not doing well, you got to innovate. So you know what? I respect it. I respect the I respect the innovation. I respect the innovation a whole lot. So I want to look at the top eight. Um, and that's where we'll wrap this up at. Uh, so obviously Michael uh, Michael Kelsch won with his Amazenta. Uh, the interesting thing with the top eight, right? It's represented only by four restricted. So there are two Zamazentas, two Calyrex, two Maridon, and two Terrapilos. So Calyrex is showing its consistency, right? It's still making top eights. Um, it's coming top four. Uh, the Maridon obviously is showing that it was not a fluke, that its damage output is to be respected. Two of them in top eight being fourth and fifth. Uh, Travago showing its consistency as well. Uh, are these these choice specs variants? Choice specs, Travago's for that one. And let me see, what's this one? Choice specs as well. So choice specs, Travago's is something you have to be prepared for. Its damage is really high. The single target base 120 power move uh, is really good. And then even when you split the damage, it's still really strong, right? So you have to consider, consider that a, a big threat. Um, no calorie shadow once again, which is a bit concerning. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens at the, uh, North America international championships with that mod. If it doesn't cut that, it's like, man, uh, when, when, what will it cut? Cause if it doesn't cut that, the chances of it cutting worlds is slim. Uh, other mods in the top cut iron hands made an appearance here. Uh, this is an AV version. Nope. Just clear. I'm to be expected. Ice punch close combat fake out wild charge. Huh? Ice punch. Good choice. Um, Terrifier, Ice Punch, yeah, Resist the Fairy. I think that's a good option. Oh, Electric Seeds with the Maraidon, and then you get the Iron Hands in on the Volt Switch if you want a Trick Room kind of thing. That could be, yeah, that's interesting stuff. I like that. And you have the Tailwind Mode with the uh, Urshan Luna and the Scarf Chiyu and the Maraidon. So I, I think I like the way these teams put together. This is a really fun team. Um, other interesting mods, Goldengo, third place. Somehow, some way, he keeps making it. Some The, the, the guy, the, the funny little guy, <laughs> the, the, hold on, look at the mouse. Uh, See him right there, the mascot. He keeps doing it. Lefties make it rain shadow, but he just he, he finds a way. Even in the Incineroar meta, two Pokemon weak to Incin doesn't matter. <laughs> he just finds a way. I need to see if I can find some stream games. I need to see how he played this because uh, Goldengo making the cut is actually pretty insane. Also, both Maradon teams had Iron Hands on it, so Iron Hands resurges. Oh, and both Cali Ice teams had Goldengo on it. What's going on in Europe? Hold on. Oh, the two Italian players. I think that's the Italian flag, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the Italian flag. It is the Italian flag. So both the Italian flag are the exact same team. What's going on in Italy? And and can y'all put me on? Because I need to know how y'all making Goldengo work in this format. Um, obviously, I have the teams here. I have the, the, the open team sheets. But I need to see the actual lines, the gameplay, to see how that's going on. Because I am curious. But you know what? Goldengo is a good option to have into Zamazenta. So you know what? This is not the last we're going to see of the boy. I bet you because it, that's why you pair it with Calyrex Ice because Calyrex Ice worst matchup is Zamazenta and this gives you a good matchup into Zamazenta. I see the vision. Oh, I see the vision. I got to try this squad out. I see the vision. Oh, Reggie Draco made it. Um, Nils Dunlop. Uh, is this what I think it is? Oh, yes. Yeah, the guy who won EUIC. Um, so I'm not sure if I've ever, if he's ever used that mod in tournaments before. Maybe he has. Um, but Draco making it is pretty interesting. Um, obviously, we saw the, oh, you know what? Donald Smith used the exact same team as Kelsch. Uh, Moltres and Latios. Wow, two Moltres and two Latios in top eight is insane. That's actually insane. Um, Rock Pond came in second place. 
Ogre Pond Water, Ogre Pond Hearth Flame made it. So all three of the masked forms of Ogre Pond uh, made it. The base form Grass Pond, which is technically a masked form, but you guys know what I mean, is did not make it, unfortunately, for our, our grass homie. Um, but yeah, that's the top eight. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, the question of the day is I'm presented the top dog. Not sure about the uploads this week, guys. I'm going on vacation. I'll see what I can get out or not get out. Uh, if I don't see you guys until I get back, then I'll see you guys when I get back. Otherwise, like the video for your boy. Subscribe if you're new. Become a member if you are so inclined. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.